and I want to know what is so unique about S1 Tini women. This. What is this? <laughs> I'm joking, Jim, please don't. Okay, <laughs> Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here in the kingdom of Eswatini. And if you... S <laughs> hey, what's happening? I can see something moving behind my back. But hey, if you see me with this microphone, with a lady beside me, you know that it's time. It's time to ask that question. It's time to ask that unique question. I know most of you are asking, hey, what am I here? Why are you not doing that popular video i mean your famous video what is so unique <laughs> hey what is so unique about swazi women i got myself a beautiful young lady and um yeah let huh. i thought you're gonna be cool for me to talk to you hi hi hey guys how are you I i'm good how are you i'm great you, you, you're a Swazi woman? I'm proudly and pure. 100% Swazi. This video is gonna be good. <laughs> of course. I'm in the video. Of course it has to be good, guys. Like, come on. Like, that's just a given. It goes without saying, basically. Yeah. I'm yeah. shocked. Hi, my name is Maya from Ghana. What's your name and where are you from? Tavenia, and I'm from Swaziland. From Swaziland. Yes. You're beautiful just like Swaziland. Obviously. Yes. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> I made you smile, yeah? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, I need to be did. congratulated. So can I get a heart for congratulations? Yes, okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maya. What's your name and where are you from? Uh my name is no no. I usually go by the name of Olympian Queen because you know Africa. I'm from Shanghai. Wow, here in Swatini. Yes, I'm Swati. Damn, that's a real Nubian queen. Mm. I see you. Can I just hold your hand? Um, I mean, oh. if I see Nubian that's queens, fine. I have to hold their hands yes. and then just come closer. Can I get a hug? Is it okay? You can. Oh, that's amazing. You know what? I just want to know what is so unique about Swazi women? Swazi women. They're beautiful. Like, we've got curves here and there. Curves? Yeah. yeah. Like, check a look. I mean, <clears throat> <laughs> well, first of all, we're very beautiful. I mean, guys, we're sexy, we're very respectful, we're willing to try new things. Basically, we're adventurous and we are very ambitious and we're passionate about what we want to do and we want to be educated. We want better, basically for Swaziland and for our kids and for everyone else like we care too much we love too much we have a big heart basically so I mean if you want to get married if you want some good stuff <laughs> you know it's go and we've got nice bodies like we're curvy we're thick as you can see we're very we're very loving guys and we're like I think like most people know in Africa if you want the most beautiful girls come to SRT me what's so unique about you um I think um I persevere in situations so um I keep working hard until I get all the things done have you got all the things that you want to do in life no not really so now I'm pursuing my bachelor's degree in engineering so yeah, not really. What engineer? What type of engineering are you doing? It's electrical and electronics engineering. Wow. You know, I did aeronautical engineering, so definitely we are on the same page. I love to see beautiful women doing, you know, taking that engineering course. You know, yeah, you're beautiful really just like electrical engineering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting. Yeah. Damn! Like, are you are you all Africans? Yes. <laughs> Uh, you, you all from Eswantini? Yes. 100%. 100% melanin. Can yeah. I can I can I really check? <laughs> come on now. Oh, come on now. Come, come on, on now. now. You know what? I'm so special today to sit in between beautiful special Eswantini women and I just want to know what is so unique about Eswantini women? Try go first. Feel free. Um, what I find about what I find unique about Eswatini women is their uh, humility. Um, most of the time, they make their culture stand out. Somebody saying yes, yes, yes. Which means you want to add something. What is so unique about Eswatini women? Eswatini women respect. 
Show respect. Yes. Yes. Add most respect to then, everybody they meet. Uh, what yeah. about you? I think our dance is quite unique, it, especially culture. I feel like we always take it seriously as Swatini women. And then, you know, that's why most people, when they hear us use Swati, they're always like, oh, okay. I've always wished, you know, to marry a Swati yeah. woman and whatnot. Oh. And, can yeah. you dance? Can you dance? Can you sing? It's, yes. it's quite, yeah, we get very unique. We're all royal, actually. Just <laughs> <laughs> I love your earrings. Thank you so much. I just bought them yesterday at 25 in my language. Wow, proudly African, I guess. Yeah, that's why I chose them. They describe me. I, I am a proud African. Uh, well, I'm a very calm person. Okay. Beautiful, as you said. Wow, ah, okay. I saw it down already. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think that's it. And yeah. creative, you know, we are open minded most of the time. Amazing. Yes. Do Swazi women date out of Swazi? Most of the time, yes. I date out of Swazi. You date out of Swaziland. Yes. Are you dating someone out of Swaziland right now? Yes. Which country is that? Botswana. Botswana. How is the experience like dating a Botswana? Botswana. Very good. How good? <laughs> Very good. No, I mean, we just want to know how good. I mean... He's a loving person. Amazing. I'm very happy. Okay. So, yeah, that's how good it is. Let me know. This Swazi woman dead out of Swazi. I'm not sure, but I'd like to... Swaziland. You would yeah. love to. I'd love to like explore. E explore as in like other other what you call nationals. Hey, which yeah. national would be your favorite? Like what's your favorite if you love to choose one African country, which oh. one will it be? Somewhere in North Africa. Somewhere in North uh, Africa. Any country. Any country in North any Africa. Country. Why North Africa? Because I mean they, they've got that melanin, that popping. <laughs> we do, yes, we can, but unfortunately, I've never had the privilege to date out of my nationality. I mean, like, you've never gotten the chance to meet someone who is not from Eswantini or what? Yes, no one has ever approached me from outside this country. Have you ever been out of this country? I have been to South Africa. And yeah, I've just been to South Africa. And no South I African guy. A lot. No South African guy approach you. Uh, perhaps they have, but I never gave them the chance. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Let's talk about the guys out there. Which African country would you love to date from? Choose one African country apart from Eswatini. Ethiopia. Do women for Eswatini from Eswatini date out of Eswatini? Of course. Yes. yes. We like, you know, diversity. Diversity, flavor. Yes, you know, we hey. like to taste. You want to taste? Taste what? <laughs> you want to taste what? Let me How? know. I feel like, you know, we have to get out of comfort zone sometimes, you know, just explore. You can't stay within Swaziland. Spice you need up. to. Uh, oh, spice oh, up oh, 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 oh. One Ooh, more time. One more time. I want to hear that again. Spice up. Spice up. Is it, is it pepper or tomatoes or which one? Everything. 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 <laughs> so, are you are you single? <coughs> oh me! <laughs> There's coronavirus. Take it. Huh? <laughs> are, are you? No, come on. One more time. One more time. Are you, are you, are you single? A child of God. A child of God. Oh goodness. Are are you are you single? Can I hold you? Are you single? Can you hold me? Yeah. I'm are you not single? single? Can you look at me? Yes. Oh. Can I be single? You can be single? Oh, me. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Are, are you single? Kind of. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, so, so let me know. Let me know. You wanted to spice up. Are you, are, is any of you dating anyone who is not from Eswantini? No, no. Yo, um, are you, are you but we have no, we have nothing against people of other cultures. Is what we're saying. Yeah, but I, I mean, like, um, have you ever gotten the chance to date someone who is not from Eswatini? No, for me, no. For me, no. Oh, so you saying yes? But, yeah. what but, it's, but it's not that far. It's, it's just South Africa. So. No, but South Africa is also from another country. Hey, the South African men are doing the job in Swaziland. Hey, yeah. shout out to all South Africans watching this video right yeah. now. And um, oh, you see, they were so excited, man. 
But you know what? There are a lot of um, Africans watching us right now. Which country, okay, in Africa, apart from Swaziland, which country in Africa would you love to date? Just choose one. One country, any country in Africa. Botswana. Botswana. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. What about you? Uh, I prefer them to black Hey! So which, which country? One country, please. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe Botswana as well. Ah. Botswana again? Yeah. Hey. Because Botswana, I love I love the language. The language. The language just oh, okay. Oh. What about you? Wow. Um I think I don't know. I think for no apparent reason I I'd, I'd like to try Namibia. I, I feel like oh. it's quite yeah. Niger. Nam oh. I don't know. What about you? I'm gonna be the odd one out and just go straight for it. Nigeria first. Oh! Do Swazi women date out of Swaziland? <laughs> yes, they do. They do. They definitely do. Are you dating out of Swaziland? No, but I would want to. I mean, it's. Uh, I have no. Um, what's this? I have no break dealer. Like it's. It, um, I do, it's not a breaking point for me. Like I wouldn't say that I don't wanna date out of Swaziland. I would want to date out of Swaziland. I would want to try something new. You know, like different spices, different flavors and herbs. You know, maybe some Indian over there. I'm kidding. <laughs> But once you go black, you never go back. That's the thing. I like my black guys. I like it chocolate. Yeah. What's happening here? <laughs> I mean, I'm totally confused in here right now. But are you single? No, I'm not single. I don't remember the last time I was single, honestly. And are you going to be single anytime soon? I don't think so. I mean, because tomorrow, can you be single for a short time? For a short time. Maybe if he makes me angry, I'd just be like, you know what, I just need a break from you. But I mean, if he doesn't make me happy, if, I mean, angry, if he makes me happy, then unfortunately, because I, I, cause I know you're asking for yourself, not for a friend. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. No! <laughs> unfortunately. I'm cuffed, yo. Oh my goodness, Swaziland. 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 That's what Tilly. Oh my goodness. Which African country? I mean, if you want to explore or try something new, different flavors, which African country will you choose from? Which African country will I choose from? Huh. Maybe <laughs> Kenya <laughs> and Ghana. Why do you have to say Kenya and Ghana? Because, like, I mean... I hope you're not talking about my camera guy. I'll edit that one out. No, of oh, course oh, not. No, oh, oh. of course not. Of course not. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Kwasia. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to know, do Swazi women date out of Swaziland? They what? Do they date out of Swaziland? Uh, yeah, some do. Um, yeah, I know a few, but they are quite celebrities. Celebrities? Yeah. Have you ever dated anyone out of Swaziland? No, uh, not yet. I haven't. You haven't? Would you love to try? <laughs> no, no it's, it's not about the religion or culture or the race of the person, so... As long as the person has those qualities, I would love to. Um, well, 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 then I would probably date. What kind of quality are you looking for before you date a guy? Um, I love to date people who are honest and loving and also caring. Uh, I'm not honest, I'm not caring, <laughs> and uh, I'm not loving, so which means uh, I'm disqualified. But anyway, are you single? Yeah, I, what does single mean? Like, single is... Um, some no one, some okay. Someone is trying to tell you that hey, I have a crush on you, but you haven't agreed yet. So if you haven't agreed, which means you're single. Are you single? No, I, I think being single is not being married. From my point of view, I think being single is just not being married. So you are single. Yeah, I am single. But you are seeing someone. <laughs> yeah, I am seeing someone, but I'm still single. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As an African woman, mm -hmm. if you have the chance to change something in Africa, what will it be? How we see ourselves, how we, how we perceive ourselves and how we treat each other basically. Mostly towards like the women. Women should be like 
basically lifting each other up but then we're not doing that we're actually bringing each other down and then for africa as a whole i think when we're like in front of like white people or in a midst of white people we then turn to feel inferior and i think i would like to change that like we just need to love ourselves and see ourselves as normal people just like the rest of everybody i mean like this message alone i have a girlfriend <laughs> but i want to say i love you so much i yeah. love you too <laughs> I think it would be confidence, so I would like them to be more confident and to just stand up. So so we're doing electrical engineering, but there are only three girls who are doing engineering out of 39 students. So I would love um, African women to have more confidence in them. That's so beautiful. You know, like when I was junior aeronautical engineer, I had only one girl as a classmate. Yeah, you see, so they need confidence. We need confidence. I think it would have to be the issue of racism because in as much as we complain about white people being racist to black people uh, a lot of black people now are racist towards white people so things are slowly changing to this other side can you give us an example of um, a black person being racist to a white person i have this friend she can't stand light-skinned people in general I talk less of colored or a white person so for her it's a female friend or a male friend a female friend but why is it that way I, I really don't know i really don't know i think maybe we have uh, put it into our minds so much that we were oppressed by white people back in the day even though we were not there but you know we feel like it, it affects us in a certain way which is wrong but I, which I don't understand but I, that is history I mean, it is history and we should put it behind us but a lot of people haven't Maybe the poverty in some of the countries. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd really wish all the countries were the same and, you know, we were first world country. I think that's what I would change. Um, perhaps I'll remove all the border gates so that we can just go freely to any place we want to go. Because sometimes moving from one country to another using a passport is just tiring. Why not just take a long drive all the way without any hindrances along the way, you see. Do you feel like you're a foreigner in another African country? A lot. And do you think that you have to be a foreigner in another African country? No, because we Africans, we are just one. We both black, we all black and beautiful. We basically look the same.